I tell you what, with that double up, Sam is my red hot favourite at the moment. I think he's going to be the one to catch now. He certainly knows what it takes in these events, and he's certainly getting hit with the deck now. Ace Jack. He's been fairly quiet, and now he's come alive. He's about 60,000. Fabian Quast with the Ace 10. So we might see some action here. It's five handed. Any ace is strong, let alone an ace 10 suited. I doubt that Fabian can fold his hand. We'll see what he does. Cool. So he's going to call the 60,000. Action now on Tobias Rankemeyer. He's going to fold. Winfred you in the small blind. He gets out of the way. Kurganov with the Jack-10. Eight. So Kurganov's in for 30,000. It's going to cost him another 30,000. He wants to know how much Fabian's got. It's a must call for uh, Kurganov. Absolute must call here. So, three-way action. I see the flop. Igor Kurganov's going to be first to speak. Ace, eight, two. Wow, so we will see some fireworks here. This is not a good flop for Quas. Not when Sam Trickett's holding Ace Jack and he's holding Ace 10. So Kurganov's checked. Action's now on Tricky. Sam definitely has to bet. Check. Wow, he's checking. I'm totally surprised by that. Unless he's looking for the check raise, I have no idea why he's checked that flop. So action on Fabian Quas. And he checks, so we'll see the turn card. Ooh, and it's another ace. Kurganov first to speak. So both Trickett and Quas now with three aces. Of course, Trickett is far ahead with the ace jack. Kurganov's checked. It's a very tricky situation here because both Trickett and, and Quas have to believe they have the best hand. Kurganov is totally out of the picture at this stage. 84,000. So Sam Trickett's going to lead out here for 84,000. Action's going to be on Fabian Quas. What will he be thinking? He's thinking, surely I've got ace 10 here. I must have the best hand. Or did Sam try and trap me in the, on the flop and now I'm even more trapped? They're the only two things he can be thinking. But I have a feeling the reason they're playing so cautiously at this stage is because of that all-important money bubble, Jono. Well, next one out gets nothing. Exactly, one mistake and they're gone. And they miss out on that $500,000 minimum payout. Call. Cool. Fabian Quas makes the call. So we'll see the river card. What will Sam Trickett make of that call? The five of spades, so a flush possible now. Action will be on Sam. Okay, here's my thing. If Fabian did have a flush draw, he would bet the flop and check the turn. But he checked the flop and called the turn after Sam's bet. Sam has to believe that he's got the best hand at, this, at the moment. It's just a matter of how much can I bet that Quas will call me and I can get value for my three aces. Quas is not waiting for a bet. He is looking at Sam Trickett intently now. Trying to find information before the bet comes out. I'm going to guess 175,000 is going to be the bet. How important is bet sizing in this situation? Very important because you bet too much, you lose him. You bet too little, you don't get enough value. 181. Ha! Huh. 181,000 is the bet. Fancy that I was wrong. Not quite much. <laughs>
So Fabian Quas, 181,000 to call. There's currently 564,000 in the pot. Fabian's just Hollywooding here. He's definitely calling. There's no way he's following that hand. He may be thinking about raising, but I doubt it. I think he's just saying, well, I have to call. I've got no choice. I probably don't like it, though. So Fabian Quas has made the call. Sam Trickett is going to win a pot just under 750000 here. And you're right, Joe. Fabian Quas didn't like it, but he did make the call. Sam Trickett scoops in another big pot, and here's Lynn Gilman.